Welcome back to another episode of Sports and Nonsense. Um, it is uh, almost halfway through the season. Uh, tomorrow's games will officially, uh, or after Monday's game, will officially be for the first time in a very long time. The NFL will officially be exactly halfway through the regular season. Uh, we haven't had a an official halfway point uh, in the league in a long time uh, now that we have 18 weeks of football. So after week nine, we are officially halfway through and halfway done with the NFL season. Um, last week, there was a lot of... Uh, um, how i didn't really so i didn't i i i didn't really pay attention to football last week i did and i got fucking smoked in every pick em league that i picked did you yeah smoked i was smoked. um hey and this I, one and the other ones and and i monday night came and i was sitting on my couch stewing there was there was a pile <laughs> of stew in my my brain cavity i i, so I pissed I off do, i lost like 50 bucks too <laughs> i had to do a lot of tr- 50 bucks what are you I was so sure about some of those fucking games, man. <laughs> are, are you on like, are you on like a sports book website since you no. can do that? Oh, no. I, I've been, th- I've been actually thinking about asking you to be my bookie because you can't do sports betting in Florida. I was just going to send you money and They're be like, here, make put, me, mo- put money on this stuff for me. me your bookie. Yeah. Then I'll, start, then I'll <laughs> like break we'll, your fucking, we'll, then I'll break we'll, your kneecaps whenever you we'll don't split. pay me. Well, well, I have to send you the money first, obviously, but it's like, well, split. So I'll give you some if I win. Up. Live out with my Italian ancestry. Because I just... swear, dude. Okay, so if nobody's following this guy on TikTok, I've I've shared a couple of TikToks with you. It's his TikTok is um, book with Trent. This guy on TikTok is awful. Oh yeah, yeah. He I know every about. time <laughs> I see him pick someone, he always loses, and I'm like. I have to get on the sports betting trend because I have to start fading this guy so that I can start winning some of these bets that he's doing. He did uh, this past Thursday night. He bet. I want, I saw one of his videos. He bet on the Thursday night football game. And uh, I don't know if you saw that. I commented on the post that he did. Uh, he posted a TikTok that said hashtag too many points. And he took the jets plus 10 and a half which means the Jets needed to either win on Thursday night or lose by less than 10 points. Um, they lost by 15. <laughs> Certainly so, uh, did not do that. So he lost his bet. And like I put a, I, <laughs> I put a, <laughs> I commented on the video under our name. I, yeah. I commented on it. I said, <laughs> sounds like it was hashtag not enough points. <laughs> <laughs> so the dad joke yeah so um so yeah i i've been thinking about having somebody in new hampshire just start sports betting for me because like i like i kind of want to win some money like it'd be great you put like 50 bucks on a game you know make the money back plus like an extra 25 pretty good uh anyway um, so yeah, I didn't pay attention to much football next week or last week. Maybe you can let me know uh, of some of the games, you know, if you did actually watch some of these games, um, we already talked about Cardinals Packers, so we don't really have to talk about Cardinals Packers, but we got, um, Panthers, Panthers beat the Falcons, um, 19 to 13. Uh, I think, did we split that one? I picked Atlanta. No, I, th- I think we both picked Atlanta. Did we? Okay. So we both picked Atlanta. Um, cause I, cause Darnold was out, right? Mm-hmm. Still, and McCaffrey was still out. Yep. Uh, Bills beat the Dolphins, but um, just barely. Uh, I was and confused that, at your text. Uh, that's what, what I sent you. I was like, "Excuse me, sir." Yeah. They were like, "It was like tied three three and, yeah, and then you were like, "They're winning by their parts." I was like, "Like you missed it." I was like, "What do you mean? They're already up thirteen to three now." So, um, so yeah. So I mean, the the Bills scored uh twenty three to eight points in the second half and ended up win- winning. So that that was that's good. Forty um, Nine ers beat the Bears. Did we split um, on that one or no? It was Bears at home. I don't remember. I think we did, but I forgot who. I, I didn't I write them down. I might have. I might have picked the Bears. I don't know. I don't yeah. remember. I didn't write them down. But Forty uh, Nine ers beat the Bears thirty three twenty two. I don't know what the split was, but you beat me. We can just leave it at that. You beat me this week. <laughs> 
See, I don't know because I picked Detroit. And I know I lost that one. I lost yes, that one did. hard. Yes, you did. Uh, but I also picked Pittsburgh and you picked Cleveland. Yeah, I did. Uh, and I won that one. Yeah. So um, sure did. I, <laughs> I, I think I think San Francisco although I, Chicago was one of the ones we split on, too. Although I, I, I will think say Dallas, that Miami, Minnesota was, too, wasn't it? Uh, Didn't you have Minnesota? Yes. No, I picked. I would never have picked Minnesota ever. Oh, I thought you knew something more than me because Dak Prescott wasn't in that game. No, I didn't know he wasn't in that game. I just yeah. still picked Dallas. I, mean, I still would have picked Dallas even if he, even if I knew he was. I, <laughs> I also lost Washington, Denver, and I think you picked Denver in that one. No, you picked, oh, Washington? picked Washington. Yeah. Oh, okay. Listen, I'm a lot of I'm a lot of things, but a liar is not. One I'm gonna of have you to beat. go back and listen to that recording because <laughs> nah, I don't you know. Beat me. I don't you, know. You, you, you spanked me. It was it was pretty ugly. Um, because we got to, because, because of course the Monday night game I predicted thirty six points and I think the total point total was like thirty seven and I was like son of a bitch. Just I did like, forty eight. So I mean, no, you, no, I did thirty. I did. picked thirty six. So it was yeah. thirty. And I think it ended up being thirty seven. It was um, thirty seventeen. Yeah. yeah. So I was. I it was like son of a bitch. <laughs> so. Um, Steelers beat the Browns in a really ugly game, 15 to 10. Uh, Eagles spanked the Lions. I thought that was going to be the Lions' yes. win of the season. I don't think the Lions are going to win now. Because yes, that I team the is Eagles bad. Yeah. Um, Titans, Colts, they, that came down to a thriller. That was actually a pretty good game. Um, I picked the Titans. I don't know if you picked the tight Titans for that game. Who are they playing? Indy. You might have. I probably did. Yeah. Uh the the Jets got beat by or the Jets beat the Bengals, um, so so that happened. So the Jets yeah, have yeah two, I think we we the both Jets picked the Bengals for wins. sure. <laughs> oh yeah, the Jets have two wins this year, and they're both against uh, division leaders right now. Yeah. So well, uh, Bengals aren't a division leader anymore, but like, uh, what is happening in in Jets Sorry. world? <laughs> Just held in a gassy burp for too long, and my my, <laughs> my mouth just exploded. <laughs> uh, Stafford <laughs> Stafford spanked the Texans, so that we knew that was going to happen. Uh, Seattle Rams are a Super Bowl contender now. Yeah, that was I was going to go back to that. Uh, Seattle beat the Jaguars pretty handedly, and Geno Smith and. So I think I picked Jacksonville. Is, I, is, I, that's what happened. I picked Jacksonville and uh, I like a, like a dope and you pick well, Seattle. I, well, I picked Detroit. So, I mean, we both lost yeah, bad games. I, you pick Seattle. So um, I was like, Oh, I don't know. I was Wilson forgetting how shitty Jacksonville is as a team overall. <laughs> is Geno Smith good now? No, <laughs> no, the Jaguars are just bad. <laughs> the Jaguars are just bad. Uh, the Broncos beat Washington in a pretty good thriller. Uh, they blocked two field goals uh, in that game. They still would have lost even if they hit both the field goals, Washington, because they lost by seven. Uh, and the Saints beat the Bucks. Uh, that was surprising. That was surprising. Um, Winston got injured in that game, so yeah. Trevor Simeon decided to come in. What's up with the backups? What's up with the backups this week? So you got Trevor Simeon that got a win over the Bucks. You got Geno Smith that got a win over this uh, the Jaguars. You got Mike White. Who the f is the Mike now. White? It's in the Hall of Fame. Who comes in and beats Joe Burrow, the number one overall draft pick, and the Bengals? Yeah, this just beat him. Yeah, he spanks him. He, uh, no, he, I mean they beat him. It was 34, no, 34 Mike 31. White. Mike White spanked him. Mike White went off. Yeah, yeah. But their defense, you know, if, if it wasn't for him, the defense would have sucked. Uh, and then you got uh, the Panthers quarterback, uh, uh, KJ. Um, I want to say his name. I want to say it's right, but I could be. Yeah, could it be might. Wrong. No, it might be KJ Wright. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it's dude. It's an XFL quarterback. He probably like for the, he's probably he like our, for the Houston Rough Riders. He's probably like our only listener, and he's just sitting on his couch like <laughs> it's uh, it's not right, it's <laughs> not, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> Uh, he plays for the Houston Rough Riders, like this Played. guy. Uh, yeah, used to for the XFL. Um, let's see. Uh, every time, so I clicked on Carolina Panthers, and all I see is stuff about Christian McCaffrey. Like, I don't care about Christian McCaffrey. Show me the quarterback. Um, PJ Walker. I was kind of right. Uh, it was, it was something J and the last name started with a W. So, so we were half right. Uh, PJ Walker was, is the, is gentleman's name. 
Uh, but yeah, oh, and, it was kind of it was a W. Yeah, we, we, we were close. <laughs> we were close. There was a J yeah, a bunch and a of name. bunch of letters wrong. Yeah, a but... bunch of letters. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um. Oh, and then the Cowboys, like the Cowboys backup quarterback. Who the hell is that? Cooper Rush. Oh, I know Cooper Rush. He's been there for a while. Like, I think I'm I'm in the division. So, <laughs> so yeah. That. So like five backup quarterbacks go out and get wins over starting quarterbacks it was a very it's a very weird I, I was saying this i was talking to my dad about this it's a very weird year in the nfl um with everything that's going on uh and then rich told me he didn't want to talk about it but the Gi- the giants uh squandered away a victory against the chiefs uh monday night so um i don't know what's going on in in new york world but uh <laughs> i i know the feeling of of something that gets torn from your hands when <laughs> after you had after you have so much hope you're like we're going to do it and then just just there was shit there was on. <laughs> there was a moment a couple moments in that game where i was like we're going to do it we're going to win this fucking game we're going to beat the chiefs on monday night football <laughs> and then so, and then like eli penny got a taunting penalty and i was like we're not going to win this fucking game anymore <laughs> And my wife's like, it, it, there's plenty of time. I was like, you don't understand. There's nobody who knows this team as well as I do, except for maybe like uh, the owner. And even he's like in his in his suite right now going, we're not going to win this fucking game anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, because they got the taunting penalty. Yeah. Bottom back 15 yards. Yeah. By a fullback who's been on the league five years and hasn't done shit in five years. But that's fine. You can taunt. Uh, fucking idiot. Um, and then uh, the next play. uh was a nice lovely drop by our receiver um and then uh something else happened and then there was a sack uh and there was a holding penalty against the defense that, well i didn't watch the game was this all in the chief side of the field uh no or are you back being the, back the taunting penalty the, the taunting penalty before the penalty would have brought us over to their side oh. then of course you know rather than just get the fuck up and go back to the huddle he taunts um you know the two win team but yeah you can taunt um and uh and then they had like a a pass there's a whole so there was a holding penalty on the, def- the defense so we kind of got like okay thanks uh drop back sack uh, mm. drop back, drop pass. Uh, and then they completed, I think, a pass like two yards, because that's helpful. Um, and then uh, another sack, and the game was over. Mm. And I was like, good. Glad we just pissed all over our shoes in the bathroom, whatever works. Well, they suck. They the- fucking suck. And I just, <laughs> I, I can't wait for January, man. I can't wait. Well, I'm not on the L train this week because my team beat a real team that was over 500 and a potential playoff team. So I'm feeling good this week. Uh, Although hopefully we can keep the momentum going uh, against Carolina. So um, if you listen, if you lose to Carolina and we beat Carolina, then that would mean we are better than you. And since you beat beat the Chargers, that means we're better than the Chargers. Yeah. It says the Chargers beat the Chiefs. That means we're actually better than the Chiefs. So we're like six and zero. Even even yeah. though the Chiefs, you, you got beat by the Chiefs. Yeah. Um, uh, no, but there is there is a path for New England to the playoffs, and uh, I, I'm all they have to do is is win the next three games, and then and then the last two get you just you just got to win the ne- the next three games, which is Carolina, Cleveland, and Atlanta. You just got to win all three of those games, and the last two games of the season, you've got Jacksonville and Miami there should be no doubt that they should at least be the seven seed. And then all that you might have to steal one of the games that is going to be a tough play, which is going to probably be the Indianapolis Colts game. If they can take the Indianapolis Colts game in Indianapolis, um, I, there's I, we'll definitely I, end, this, end the seasons uh, 10 and 10 and seven. And I we'll sneak in. I think yeah. you should be able to. So that's it. That's the path right there. The path is Carolina, Cleveland, Indianapolis, um, I forgot the third. Oh, Atlanta, uh, Carolina, Atlanta, Cleveland, Indianapolis, and then the last two games of the year, Jacksonville, Miami. That's six wins. That puts us at uh, ten and seven. Because then we lose. <laughs> we we lose the two games against the Bills, and then we we'll, we may lose the Titans game. 
So, well, it depends if Derrick Henry's back. Derrick Henry is out for the season, so we may take that one too. We may is end he out for the, the season. Year. Yeah, he's done. He had what foot surgery. To... Oh, I don't know. for some done. reason, for some reason, I thought it was a minor injury. Mm-mm. Well, I guess there won't be a running back MVP after all. Nope. Um. So. So we get for having hope. There's some other things that happened in the NFL this week, and I feel like it needs to be discussed. I forget we're doing Squid Games today. Oh, that's right, we're doing Squid Games. So we'll we'll do we'll just do this the, the last. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't talk. I'm just saying don't forget. It's the third week. Yes, we, yes. We, can't we have forget. to do Squid Games this week. We have to do a review for Squid Games. Now, now listen. We we probably have to talk about the two biggest things that's come out of the NFL this week. Um, I'm pretty sure you can guess what both of them are. Um, because. One of them is pretty big national news. The other one is pretty big one, NFL does, news. Does one relate to um, change of direction and big hit stats on Madden? Possibly low awareness, like a yeah. zero awareness. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like maybe 99 speed. Yeah. You know, I mean, the poorly timed jokes, but yeah. Nah. Um, but so, I mean, most of our listeners are veterans. I'm sure they can appreciate the humor. Fair. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so for real, somebody died. It's not sun, Sunday night. Uh, was it Sunday night or Monday night? I can't remember now. I, I think it was Monday, but I could be wrong. So I and I saw a video. I can say I didn't. I don't think I sent you the video, but I can send you a video. There's there's like a, there's a street camera view of like what you probably happened. don't have to. I know he's flying, wasn't he? He dude, if you blink, you'll miss it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, he's going to go to jail. I'm he shocked should go to jail. he didn't get killed. Yeah, well, but I never, he no, was yeah. double. I mean, he was double the legal limit of alcohol uh, for or driving under the influence. Um, so, I mean, for anyone who's who's not aware of what we're talking about, Henry Ruggs, the wide receiver for Oakland Raiders. And man, the Oakland Raiders just can't catch a break. Uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, sorry. The Las Vegas Raiders can't catch a break like this year with their coach being yeah, but you know uh, what? Home, but like you know what though? And, Bo- and then- both both of those things have been like mistakes made by people being fucking idiots. Well, yeah. You, you know, it's not like, the team's fault that, they, that they're doing this. You know, like, you know the Raiders can catch a break, but that's like just two grown adults mm-hmm. making just abysmal decisions. Mm-hmm. You know. Anyway, so, I have no I have no sympathy for either one of them. So Henry Ruggs gets in a. Uh, severe vehicle accident which which everyone is saying that he hit a, a, a rav4 it doesn't look like a rav4 in the picture it matter it, what he hit no he killed, he, he killed somebody Does no i know matter? that but it looks yeah. like a toyota prius which makes more sense of why it, it burst in the flames because of the electric batteries yeah um but so yeah he slammed into the back of some poor girl's car who you know and unfortunately the girl perished before the uh first responders could arrive her and her dog her dog was in the car too um and then he walks away with like minor injuries and the girlfriend that he had in the car with her his girlfriend uh is is in the hospital too and and he's been charged with officially two felonies um and and then he actually i saw i think it was either today or yesterday he's been charged with two more felonies and a misdemeanor good uh so he's probably gonna be going to prison uh, i just read uh, henry ruggs facing up to 40 years in prison after prosecutors add new charges yeah that's not surprising i mean like like what do you do like i so this is the thing that i don't understand and i'm gonna go on like a little bit of a rant about like better you than me (laughs) about like driving because and and this is nothing to do with driving under the influence but i'll get to my point um i have been in living in florida for about two years over two years now and i feel that i am the only person in the state who has ever been Whole state. Um, what's that the whole state the whole state i'm pretty sure i'm the only person that's ever gone to a driver's ed class and learned how to drive on the highway oh because nobody knows oh how to drive on the highway god here. yes like yeah, when, sam, when sam and i went down there for our honeymoon uh she had to like close her eyes for most of the highway interactions it's an so, ordeal i'm not sure if anyone is aware of how to drive on the highway 
Um, but you're only supposed to touch your brake in case of emergency or if there's traffic. Um, there's this new scientific uh, thing called uh, momentum, uh, which states that when you take your foot off the go-go pedal, um, your car, because it is so heavy, um, will slow itself down by itself without you touching the brake. Everyone, like... I'll be driving behind somebody and they'll hit their brake and I'll be like, why are we hitting our brakes? There's like, uh, I was like, I don't see anything. Is there an accident? It's just us on the road. And and I'll go past (laughs) it. Like I'll go to the next lane to pass them. There's nobody in front of them. And I'm like, why are we touching our brake? Dude, I can slow down in traffic and not hit my brake. Like I can just let my car just glide by without yeah. hitting my brake and it'll yeah, I'll, go me from down. Six, I'll go from 65 to 60 real quick you know don't worry. you know <laughs> this new scientist called isaac newton who who helped discover momentum and inertia and you know gravity uh yeah that's a thing also people don't know how to merge like if i am driving on the highway and someone oh is no, driving no, is, is on an on ramp what's that people don't have merge in new hampshire either yeah so if i am driving on the highway and someone is merging onto the highway from an on-ramp say um i don't have to yield to you you have to yield to me i'm already on the highway you are trying to get on the highway so if i am going 65 and you are speeding up trying to get in front of me um i don't have to slow down because i'm not supposed to slow down you're supposed to slow down i got honked at and flipped off the other day because of that uh, because some woman thought that she had the right of way, and I was like, "No, I have the right of way." Sorry, I'm I'm reading something about the Henry Ruggs, and they've said that they've determined that <clears throat> um, he hit the Toyota going 127 miles per hour. Mm-mm, no, 100. And, I I read it was 157. No, he says he was going 156 just before the crash, and ultimately hit the Toyota at 127 miles. Oh, an hour. so he tried to slow down. Yeah, but could not. Yeah. yeah, the 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 video that I saw today about it, it was just yeah. It, you blink and you'll miss his car flying by. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah. and you see her car first. Like you see her car first. You see, yeah, like, just driving home, driving limit. home from work. You know, driving home from work, driving wherever she's oh, going. Driving home from work, but um, wherever she's going, wherever. you know, she's, not, yeah, she's obviously not intoxicated or no. driving 150 miles. And an that's hour. the thing that I was also trying to get to is like. Uh, why in a society do we feel the need to drive while we've been drinking? Like we, we know that this causes like, and this is like, this is like the soapbox moment of sports and nonsense. I apologize for the, for this, cause this is not really anything to do with sports or nonsense, but uh, why do we feel the need to go out, have a good time and then ruin that by uh, driving home in our car and potentially killing somebody, and in this case, yeah, but, yeah, but you know what? How, how often does this fucking happen? I mean, this happens every day in every state, in every town, and every <clears throat> in all of the country. I but know, like, and why? I don't often, understand but, why people how, can't have the common sense to not do it. How often are we are are are, are we seeing these stories about athletes of all sports mm-hmm. going out, getting fucked up, getting in their car, driving home, and hurting somebody? Every season, there's at least what a handful mm-hmm. of. Not, yeah. not, not, not one, not two. Every season, there's at least a handful, and by that I mean probably like five to ten of these athletes going out in, t- in town, in the city, whatever, getting fucked up, driving home, and hurting somebody. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it, I think the military needs to teach them about drunk driving because that's how. I mean, that's essentially where I learned not to do it. Uh, I don't, know. Uh, I don't know if that's the right people to teach because <laughs> all I know is uh, I busted a lot of drunk fucks driving home Fair. Uh, in the in the military. I, I guess I, I haven't had too I'm much very, experience. I'm a very in, colorful. Uh, I'm using a very colorful language today. I, I get that, but like this will be the explicit episode of the year. But like, uh, I just I don't understand it. You know, I I, I just I, I don't get. I'm the not going to sit here. I, of, I, of I, I, I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm perfect because like I remember I can remember there's one time mm-hmm. I went out to a bar and i drove home and i got home and i was like i'm drunk that was stupid you know mm-hmm. that was really fucking stupid and mm-hmm. you know i made it home Th- thankfully two minute drive home i made it but like man a lot can happen in that two minutes you know and i was, I remember i got home 
And it was kind of like when you're in the bathroom at like a bar or a party and like it all hits you at once. You're like, oh, I'm fucked up. You know, like, because mm-hmm. getting in the car, I was like, no, I'm good. I, you know, I've only had a few, be- you know, I couldn't remember the fact that I also had a fuck ton of liquor. Mm. Um, so yeah, I drove drunk and now I'm proud of it. No, so I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not perfect. And I made a mistake and I thankfully didn't, you know, hurt anybody or kill anybody or, or, or anything, you know, but like, I can tell you with 100% confidence uh, when I drove home, uh, I didn't go 150 miles an hour. I, I went the speed limit because, you know, I'm a human being, <laughs> you know, like I remember that drive home vividly now because of the fact that I acknowledged that I probably should have driven home that night. Um, and I was like, what the, you know, so anyway, I, I see stories like this. And again, it happens in every, in every sport, you know, it's not just football, but like you have these athletes going out and getting fucked up and just like, now, do I think Henry Riggs thought Henry Ruggs thought thought that he was above like the laws and like the rules and like safety? No, I don't think that. But I think that his status certainly made a difference because you and I don't have access to a car that can go that fast. Mm. You, you know, like I'm not saying outlaw all cars that go that fast, but what I am saying is like I don't know where Henry Ruggs came from, and I'm happy that he got to where he was. You know, like professionally. You know. Um, but a lot of the problems that c- these kids run into and they get in the NFL is they go for a lot of them have nothing as as kids, as kiddos, mm-hmm. um, to then being given checks oh, every week that are 20 that I make what you and I make in a year. You know, so when you give a kid who had no money growing up, you know, and now he has more money than he knows, and, he or she knows. And through college with, and through college, because they're know. not paid in for college no. football. No. And, and then you give them a shit ton of money. You know, and I'm not saying don't give them money. I'm just saying, like, I, I think you really need to start with like, because and they go out and they spend their money as they should and they can. And like when you and I get paid, we pay our bills and that's pretty much it. We're poor mm-hmm. again. You know, these guys go out, they pay their bills and depending on their lifestyle, most of them still have a fuck ton left over, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and what are they going to do with that money? A lot of them go out and they blow it on booze. And, you know, it's just it's that's where I think. Not does that is, is giving less money going to stop the drinking and driving? No, absolutely not. But like, oh my god, <laughs> you, you know, it, it it just creates a perfect storm. You have these athletes, these young kids in these major cities, you know, you know, partying yeah, and, and drinking and having a great time. It's just great. But like, it's not like there's this they're they're going out and they're spending all their money in Podunk, middle of nowhere, Nebraska. No, no. Like they're in. Las LA, Vegas and Las, Las Vegas. Angeles and New York City. They're in, and, yeah, I mean, and, and, you know, the most rural town I think as a football team is probably Wisconsin. Um, yeah, yeah, Green Bay. You know, yeah, even Green that's, Bay. Even, even Green Bay or, pretty... or Foxborough. I mean, the, you've got Boston, but the, the New, in, New England Patriots are not in Boston. They're an hour outside of Boston. Yeah, most of the players live um, in Boston, like suburbs or high yeah. end, you know, neighborhoods or right. apartments. But like, mm-hmm. um. Miami, you know, like you got these major cities and, and, and I'm not saying it's only players going out there killing people with DUI, but like every year and every sport, there's always a handful of, of, of major accidents that happen because of a player that, 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 that got a DUI. And, and, and I think the thing that infuriates me the most is like, they're never just driving home drunk, going the speed limit and hitting somebody. They're always going way too fast, running red lights. And I don't know if that's a because you're fucked up decision, if that's a, if that's a I've got money, I can pay for the ticket decision. Or, you know, I don't know where the root cause is, but it's just, it always seems that when these players of all sports get in these accidents, it's always something relative. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody almost always gets hurt, whether it's them or, you know, uh, somebody, you know, a normal person, I, I guess. Um, and I, I, I don't feel any envy for Henry Ruggs. I don't, but like, I feel bad for him in a way because he had it all, you know, he, he, he had a life that like many people work their balls off and can't have mm-hmm. because of an injury they sustained or because they just weren't fast enough or they were too small or, you know, like, um, and he blew it. And, and I think yeah. that's what if you're, I think that's what you were the most outside of the reckless, you know, like <laughs> disregard for another human being's life. Mm-hmm. Um, but you had it all, man. You, you had the you were a superstar. You he made had, it, you, you know. Like he, you he were made a, a superstar he, he, athlete. You, you yeah. know, you had the world by the by the stones, and you blew it because you just couldn't call an Uber. Like everybody years else. old, he'd only been in the league for a year and a half. Yeah, now he's going to jail. And now he's you know his his 
he's his career is over and not only that but he ended somebody's life too yeah, and his life is over too for lack of a better you know like yeah, so he, he's ruined two he's ruined two maybe three people depending oh, on he's, depending he's ruined on more what. than he's ruined more than two or three people he's ruined his life the well, yeah. young girl's life her family's family. life you know like uh you know and 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 he, again and, and he you have a family you know of a, of a young girl who's saying why why Mm-hmm. You know, you you gave a 22 year old kid a hundred fifty thousand dollar car, or the money to buy a hundred fifty thousand dollar car uh, that he could drive drunk going one hundred fifty six miles an hour, and in, like it, it, in the city that is probably it, the you know? the worst city to be in for an athlete with money. Yeah, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Oh yeah, Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. You know, that's 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 a disaster. You know, like yeah. It, it's just it's such a shame and, and you know and i could talk about it all night if you'd let me but i just it's myself included you know i wanted to be there i wanted to be on the field i wanted to make that money i wanted to be on a team you know and i wasn't fast enough i wasn't you know strong enough it's the way it goes you can't coach you can't coach speed you can't coach some stuff and henry ruggs had the thing had a lot of things you can't coach you know, mm-hmm. like you can't coach someone to catch the ball better. You just can't. It's impossible. Either they're, either they're good at catching it or they're not. It's not really you can coach technique all you want. But at the end of the day, it comes down to just that natural ability to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, that hand eye coordination. And I just it's a shame because he was a good player. And he was fun to watch. And he didn't from surface level seem to have many like problems off the field. You know, he seemed to be a, like a professional, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just they say even I think it was last year. I mean, even in the Giants, Aldrich Rojas, the last year, the year before, he same thing, DUI. He, he T boned a lady, you know, and they cut his ass, and now he's playing for somebody else. And then that's the problem is that, and now he didn't kill anybody, but mm-hmm. but then you know they'll get cut and somebody else will sign. And and that's that's they get, the, cut, sus- they get cut suspended, but that but this this was this was over over the top. Oh no, for sure. But what I'm saying is like yeah. the NFL has zero. Um, um, accountability, accountability for anything. Not just the UI. Like, and, and I, I know they get suspended, but who gives a shit? You'll wait. Mm-hmm. The player's good enough. Team will wait. The Cowboys will sign him. You know, like it, it's, it, it, and, and that's the worst part. You know, you, you got some stories, obviously, like Ray Rice. He never played again, and he should never play again. Yeah, you know, but like Tyreek Hill. You know, a great another story. You know, with the with the child stuff, and he's we won a Super Bowl. You know, you know, there's no accountability and, 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 you know, I get it. Like you, you can get a DUI and you know, your employer is not going <laughs> to fire you as long as you're at work, but like, I hate, you, you oh, know, he's, oh, he's placed for the saints. Elder Rojas. Rojas. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, it, it's just, there's, there's no accountability in the league and, you know, I get it. Like Google, like says I said, New York Giants still what does Google? Oh no. He hasn't been a giant. New York for, Giants number two he hasn't been a giant Giants. for a while. Yeah. Um, but like, I guess I, you're, you know, if, if you got a DUI, your job's not going to call you in the morning and fire you as long as you're at work, you know, like, you know, I get it, but like the NFL is a little different. Like you're on TV, you're in front, you're a role model for kids. Like I, I, I doubt like not to discredit you in your profession, but I, oh. but I, but I doubt you are a role model for many kids. Other you got than released your actually. Rose did. From the saints. Yeah. Oh, good. October 5th. Good. Well, that wasn't because he got a DUI. It's because oh, it sucked. It's when the Saints re, uh, signed Cody Parkey. Yeah. So, so it, was, it, it wasn't because he got a DUI. It sucked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just, I guess there's no accountability. And I could rant all I want about it. There's no accountability. And there really needs to be. And, needs to, and you know what? Fuck it. There needs to be consistency. Mm-hmm. And that, I think that's the biggest issue that people have is the consistency. And you can speak for you can speak for it on your own end with the Patriot deflate gate bullshit. You, you know, like. You got guys beating their wives, getting three, four game suspensions, and you got Tom Brady, who allegedly t- t- took the air out of a football and got a six game suspension. Four, four game, whatever it was. You, but you get what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. th- why are they in the same playing field? And the Patriots you know? lost a lot of capital. They like, it was like yeah. two million dollars their first yeah. round draft pick, a lot of other stuff. So, yeah. but I mean, you can't punish the team for the mistake of somebody that, that like from the mistake of a player. Uh, no, I don't think you should. But uh, I, all I'm saying is that there's no consistency, and that really yeah. irritates the shit out of me. I think with the NFL, like, um, like even a couple of years ago with the Giants, Golden Tate got popped for performance enhancing drugs, um, and he wasn't taking steroids. He was taking a like a pill because like he was trying to have a baby with his wife, and they were having a hard time. Mm-hmm. And it was like 
he had all the documentation. The NFL was like, nope, four game suspension. Like, I get it. Those are the rules. That's mm-hmm. fine. You know, but again, four game suspension. Then you got guys like I think like Randy Gregory or whoever else like beat the shit out of their wives or their girlfriends and they get a four game suspension. So we're putting them on the same playing field. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's the I think the, that's the biggest issue I have as well. You know, like if the rule says you can't take this pill, then golden, you shouldn't have taken the fucking pill. But like I, I just I don't know. I could preach accountability and I could appreciate shit all day. Well, but uh <laughs> moving on to more stupidity. Um Aaron Rodgers has been in the news this week. Um, oh yeah, we had two things to talk about. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, I said I wasn't going to rant. And I did. I did preference that at the beginning, but uh, we'll talk about it for a little bit. So Aaron Rodgers got uh, popped for uh, COVID this week. I didn't. I didn't know anything about what happened, like with the vaccine thing. I didn't even know that was a. I, I didn't know anything about that. So at the beginning yeah. of this, at the beginning of training cap camp, it was asked when a lot of high profile players were asked if you were vaccinated. Uh, and Aaron Rodgers had said, yes, I'm immunized or immunized or however you yeah. say that. Immunized um, or whatever. Immunized. Word. Words, words are hard. Yeah. So like he he's saying it, but he's not saying it that he, like he basically said that because like when you say something like that, everyone's going to assume. Yeah. That means you you've been vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, we all know. I'm, I'm immunized. We all know what we're talking about. It's right. not like it's you know. There's no um, inconsistencies and in the a, words. And according here. according to him, because uh, he came out this week after he got COVID, and he was like, "Oh no, I didn't get the vaccine. I've just been taking a bunch of herbal supplements that boost my immune system that helps against COVID nineteen. And apparently, he's tried to like. Uh, uh, like bypass this with the NFL and it's just like, yeah, I, I'm taking all these things that yeah, help with COVID and they're like, <laughs> yeah, we don't care you, that you're yeah. still unvaccinated. And which means no, it's, for an it's like what I just said about, for, it's like what I just said about the pill. Like just, yeah. No. For an unvaccinated <laughs> player, you had to be wearing a mask on the sidelines and a mask during your interviews. And he's been doing none of that. And apparently the NFL and the green Bay Packers knew that this was going on and they didn't care so like oh it's so accountability again uh yeah so we're back to accountability <laughs> again uh, i mean this is what i've been reading online it's it's just it, it's a it's a circle you know it's a full coming full circle yeah, all the yeah. Time. so yeah. like i just and i don't know if he's gonna get in trouble because i also no, like he won't and you know he won't because Devontae Adams and Adam, uh, uh, not Adam, uh, Alan Lazard got popped first for COVID. So I don't know who was first in this whole group of people that got COVID. And the first, the receiver or the center. <laughs> yeah, it was it the receiver or was it the cornerback? Uh, was yeah, it either no. receiver or was it the quarterback yeah. that got it first? But like, and this was the thing, like when we talked about when uh, <laughs> the NFL was putting out rules and we talked about this at the beginning of the season, when we talked about how, if a team gets uh, a run through of COVID and they can't play, they forfeit the game. Yeah. And I'm, and I was like, half of me was like, God, I hope that happens this week. Just to sh- like, yeah, but it's not enough players. Yeah. And that's has to be, no, so many I, it's only been three players. So yeah, I'm just like, God, enough. damn it. So like the other half of me is, is like, Oh God! I hope Jordan Love is good against the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh yeah, I hope he's I, like I'm I just the, I'm, I'm gonna pick the Chiefs, but I hope he it. smokes them. <laughs> yeah, I hope I just hope he's slinging the ball all over the place, oh, yeah. and he just dismantles him. And then because Rogers hope, won't be able to come back until Saturday of next hope, week, so they'll Pat already Mahomes. be pre- like game planning for the game next week. So he probably won't play in next week's game either. So we got hope, two uh, weeks of Jordan Love. I hope Pat Mahomes is seen crying in the locker room. Mm-hmm. Like I just can't, I can't keep up with him. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just praying that the next two weeks, Jordan Love just proves himself that oh, yeah. this is the like this that he should be the next quarterback. Oh yeah, and yeah, I, I also I found so. this out I, too. Said, I'm picking the Chiefs, but I really hope he does. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I also found this out too. So at the beginning of the season, when San Francisco uh, was before the draft, was talk in talks of. Um, trading for Rodgers, right? Trading for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Did you know that the San Francisco 49ers offered three first round picks for Aaron Rodgers, including the I, third overall pick? I would have taken that. I would have taken that in a heartbeat. Like, 
how do you not without as, hesitation as the green bay packers how do you not take that? Uh, dude i uh, see so this one would have happened I and then been... draft the next guy and i mean you have the next guy in jordan love but then you can draft another guy and and see who's better or at number or, three if you if you drafted jordan love to be your replacement you just draft players around him for the exactly. next three years you know like man if i had been at the gm for, i forgot the gm's name for pack green bay is but like i, I the phone call would have gone like yellow and i would have my i would have been leaning back in my chair <laughs> yeah. and as soon as who were the gm of the same for singles yeah we, we'll give you three first rounders for aaron uh you would have heard the phone fall out of my hand and me go shit as i fall backwards <laughs> and bang my head on my floor yeah and then you know as you as you hear the phone going hello are you still there yeah i'm still here you know like <laughs> trying to grab the phone and I, I would i i i would just grab that phone and be like yes and hang up the phone and just scream down the hall and say somebody get aaron in here you know like it would have been he would have been, he would have been on a plane before lunch and it, and it could have that phone call could have happened at 11 30 and i would have had his ass on a plane by noon that's how fast i would have said yes to that but like and, and don't be wrong, i hate aaron Rodgers, but like three first round picks for anybody is totally worth it unless your name is Tom Brady and it's like 2008 like and even then I probably still consider give or take a three first round pass. Oh, I mean <laughs> like, 2008 he was injured so I mean it was a seven whatever whatever seven. year he yeah whatever seven. whatever you know what I meant so I, I, even then I, I'm, I'm gonna sit there and be like three, oh. <laughs> three you say <laughs> three yeah but then you gotta think you'd be like well I'm giving him the best player in the league possibly or a really good player so what is the third team round it is. gonna San be Fran's, San Fran's not exactly the great, a, a great team no. either you know like I'd be like yes yes a thousand yes. times yes you I do my, that deal every time oh yeah, yeah. and like yeah. I 60% don't... of the time I take that deal every time, every time. is basically yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how they don't pull the trigger on that and then and then they bring him back and then he just do you know he looks it's homeless like that, it's like, like have you TikTok seen him on the yeah. sideline yeah first john wick costume you didn't see you, it yeah, yeah do you yeah. did do you know who he's dating too like his fiance no she's hot it's, though it's shaylene Shay, uh, okay we'll get there it's uh, shaylene woodley Hang right I gotta go. am i wrong is she not is she not pretty um, Hang on. Uh, go Hang ahead on. and go ahead and when you Google Shailene Woodley, uh, I was gonna go away. So go I, ahead if, and, I, if you Google Aaron Rodgers, the yeah. fourth suggestion is Aaron Rodgers' girlfriend. So hang on, let me just. Which one is uh? It's, hang on. Well, he's had many. Oh, oh, wait a minute. No, oh, Aaron, you can do better than that, buddy. So I also I want you to Google. I mean, she's right not now. ugly we're doing, by any means. Okay, but, like, but we're we're gonna do a little social experiment before we talk about Squid Game. Uh, I want you to Google <laughs> Shailene Woodley. Um. Yeah smell smell yes. like 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 stinky smell like the sense yes <laughs> so she stinks <laughs> yeah so she stinks uh apparently she doesn't wear deodorant she rubs oils on her uh, like because she's one of these he- she's one of these head- health nuts. This headline says, <laughs> "When it comes to celebrities that smell, few stars apparently have an odor that is as offensive as she." <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was thinking that chick from X Men. Who? Uh, Olivia Munn. He hasn't dated her in a while. I, I don't. I don't okay, like so, Aaron Rodgers. How so I, Olivia how Munn started dating uh, uh, John Mulaney, the comedian. Uh, and she's Who's pregnant. Who? She's pregnant now with with their kid. And, a funny um, kid. Yeah, and, <laughs> he's a funny and, guy. I like. And him. I feel like she did it out of spite because uh, John Mulaney is a Bears fan. Uh, so, <laughs> so it's just I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna fuck a Bears fan. Yeah. So, uh, well, because he dated Danica Patrick after uh, Olivia Munn. He now he has this smelly lady. Yeah, and so. So, like, when you look that up, it says Woodley's scent issues don't end there. Allegedly, her stylist has had issues securing gowns for the actress due to her smell. She rubs essential oils on her skin, which are very pungent, and the smell stays on the gown's fabric. And the people that give the set designers and the the stylist their gowns, they say, we don't want them back because of how bad Oh, man. It is. You know how bad you have to stink for that? Yeah. Oh, my God. And I guess, like, I guess she had problems. What the hell on... is going on with Aaron Rodgers? Get him the fuck out of Green Bay. <laughs> so Green so Bay. I guess she has problems with 
her mouth too because like she was in the movie fault of our stars right which has kissing scenes i guess the male co-star from fault of our stars was like yeah it was very repugnant kissing shailene woodley because her breath stunk and so oh, when aaron, you look at aaron rogers so, i am made of questions so, I mean, so, I when, get, so when you <laughs> look at aaron rogers on the sideline and Green he Bay, looks like a homeless person i think we all know who to blame <laughs> Because she's probably got him on the essential oils, the no deodorant, the, the oh, shower. Oh, so that the, explains the I take essential minerals to keep the COVID very out of disheveled body. look yeah. of Aaron Rodgers. Yes, yeah. like because when you when you think of Aaron Rodgers in like 2011, yeah, a very clean cut, yeah, very good looking handsome, guy. good yeah. looking good gentleman. Looking guy. Yeah. When you Google Aaron Rodgers 2021. It's yeah, not yeah. a pretty sight, my friend. Yeah. Like, let me see, let me see what the first image is. <laughs> a. a Ron Rogers, it's twenty twenty one. You know he looks. You know he looks like. It, it, is it, it the it, one it, from it, CNN? Uh, no, I don't three days think ago so. from CNN. Oh yeah, he 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 looks like they found him outside of the stadium and they said hey you look kind of like aaron Rodgers. would you mind coming to play because we can't find him yeah uh meanwhile real real aaron Rodgers is like out in the woods and he still <laughs> looks like you can't see it but he still looks like yeah. uh he still looks like he should like you know? aaron Rodgers, 2011 when he won the super bowl like you can see him he's holding the uh some a, a star trophy i don't know what it is and he's got the super bowl mvp trophy, trophy? It might have been the MVP. Trophy. I don't know what the MVP trophy looks <laughs> it's like. <a> star. <laughs> it's at. Like, you never see the MVP trophy get handed out after the game. They always like it's here's a truck. Star. Um, but like he looks like he's a good looking guy. Like he's like he's you know he's nice. He's clean. He's got a button up shirt. Like he's yeah he's you know, going to play the I football. Hate, I hate everything about this couple right now. I just don't like them. I mean they've got they don't care about us. They got way more money than you and I will ever even be, be able to look at. But like. Yeah. Man, yep. So Olivia Olivia Munn was way neater. Yeah, you he messed you done messed up a a Ron like so. Anywho, anyway, I um, would have told I would have you, you could give me two first round picks. I would have taken I would have taken that for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, especially if three? one of them's the third the third yeah. round pick. Yeah, you give me this, you're, you're giving me the third overall pick. Yeah, I, you know what? I might I might have done it for just the third overall pick and a gift card to Olive Garden. You know, <laughs> like just. Like the third overall pick is you can do whatever the fuck you want with that, considering that, that you know, the, at least the first pick at least is probably going to be a quarterback. The first two you this know? year was yeah. definitely so, a quarterback. Jacksonville so could, and, and the Jets, they were taking so, quarterbacks. So in reality, you have the first overall pick mm-hmm. <laughs> if you don't need a uh-huh. quarterback. Like, and then you done. pick up. Yeah. And then you know what you do? You go if for, for Jordan Love. You go draft Jamar Chase at third <laughs> overall. <laughs> There you go. And look how or that tackle. turns out. If you need, if you need the line, we're and then you got Devonte Adams and Jamar Chase. Shadow, can Kyle you Pitts. get out of there? Like, can you not? Or Kyle Pitts. Yeah. Or if you're really ballsy, you can trade that third overall pick to the third quarterback needy team, and you can get even more picks mm-hmm. so. and still get Jamar Chase, probably. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, well, I think he went you, fifth overall. You done. You done messed up, Green Bay. Yeah, yeah, but then you could have gotten Devontae Smith. Or you could have gotten, you know, one of the yeah. other three wide receivers who was lightened up. So, <sighs> anyway, um, so we'll Rod- do fuck Aaron Rodgers, man. Yeah, we'll do picks <laughs> after we talk about uh, Squid Game because uh, we put it off for too long. And uh, man, is that show good? Like, all right. Rich normally doesn't watch shows, uh, so I, I was never going to bring it up. To I was him. I was really into and spoiler alert if you haven't watched it. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to spoil stuff. I was really uh, into like that side um, stuff with the cop. Mm, I was really, really into it. For I me. was into that because I was just like because I kept forgetting about him. Oh and yeah, would kinda, yeah. Always kinda be like, oh that's right, he's here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? he's like, oh yeah, he's undercover. That's right, he's here. There's more, way um, more interesting stuff going on right yeah. now. You know, I'd always forget. Um, but I, man, it was so goofy, but I liked it. You know, like it was one of those, like, it's definitely Korean. Like, my, my Sam coming mm-hmm. big. This show is so weird. I'm like, yeah, it's Korean. You can definitely <laughs> tell, like, it's got that Korean humor and, and shit like that, which like, is fine. You know, like, it's it works for the, you know, it's, it works. And, mm-hmm. um, th- th- man, 
there were some, but like the fact that I, there were characters that I absolutely despised and characters that I loved. And I was like, that's how you know it's a good show. Oh, yeah. You know, like the old dude, love the old dude. Yeah. Um, I liked, I don't know any of the names, but I liked the lead, whatever his name was. Uh, 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 G- G- uh, Gion. G- Gion or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I liked him because uh, he was believable. Mm-hmm. He was a believable character. And then I hated that. Um, that girl, not the one that makes it to the final three, the one that yeah, pulls up I know the gangster. The, I hated her. The one who is, um, what does she say? She's good at everything she's good at. Ever tried? Yeah, she's good. I'm good at everything I, I'm good at. And I'm like, I'm good at everything I've I've ever done or, or something yeah. like that or whatever. I, I hated her, man. Yeah. I just, there was no part in that entire show. I was like, oh, this is a good character. I was like, she sucks. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I really wish they gave like i just didn't believe the ending that they gave her um i just i didn't buy it you, you know i mean Why? obviously it, it, i just didn't I, based on everything that had happened to that point i i couldn't see her saying i'll just kill myself hmm. you know like with this dude <laughs> you know well, she like, said she was gonna kill him oh i know point. but like i just didn't believe it she was like, i didn't think for a second that she was the kind of person that would kill herself as well in the process mm, take herself out too. um yeah so i figured she'd be the one to kill him you know i i figured actually when they were getting there i think i thought she was i thought like it was gonna be one of those like oh my gosh moments where like i thought she was gonna just push him mm. you know like when he was like kind of sitting there like yeah I, I before he said anything i thought i thought she was gonna push him and then like she kind of jumps on with him and like just does the thing and i was like i don't really care for that but yeah. you know um i hated her character and that you know it, it's that's how you know it's a good show i guess yeah. but um now i have to ask you uh because you are very good at um and this is heavy spoilers for squid game if you haven't watched it yet the it's, old been man. Out, it's been out for a while yeah Had, did yeah. you did you see the ending of that show coming not like that i I figured that there was one of them who was going to be like participating, who was like the overall person mm-hmm. um, only because he did drop like several hints of, um, about it. And there was a couple of moments where I was like, that's weird, but I didn't think it was him. Um, so I, I no, yes. And no, I only say yes, because I, I figured, okay, there's somebody in this group who's like, Pulling you strings. know, pulling strings um and then um but i didn't then they all died like that you all it was you know you didn't see him die but like you figured that he died uh and then and then but you don't you don't see him die you hear him uh you hear the gunshot go off but like and then all the other ones died so like he probably i i thought that i i said i honestly i thought it might have been ollie at, at first um, but then like that last cut with like when he's like starts crying, I was like, oh, no, it's not Ali, you know, like um, hashtag justice for Ali. But like, um, I, yeah, I I don't know. I, 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 I figured, you know, at first I thought it was that guy that he played the game with on the subway, like with the uh, mm-hmm. where they throw in like the thingies down. Um, but then I was like, no, it's not him. Who he's in a bunch of stuff. Uh, he's in Train to Busan. It's a really good movie. Um, that's a great movie. I didn't know he was in that movie. <laughs> yeah, he's in he's in Train to Busan. Ooh. He's the lead. Wait, um, who? Jihan or the guy that the guy that he plays with plays in the subway? The, the yeah. guy that you know he, he, that slaps him. You know, I, I, I haven't um, seen that movie in like a few years. Train to Busan's a good movie. Yeah, good. Um, so I I figured there was somebody. I just didn't think it was the old man, and I I, I didn't even when like he died quote unquote um i thought he was actually dead just because of how many episodes were left there was still i think like two or three episodes three, left yeah. and i was like oh yeah he's dead you know that's mm-hmm. felt so early you know to kill off like him um so there's still know, I, two games left after he yeah killed. but but i will say the whole cop drama thing um i knew that his brother was gonna be like oh i knew that know, from a mile I call, away I, yeah, because they just like yeah. kept setting it up, and I was, oh, yeah. his brother's one of the guards, or he's like the the head guy, the head, whatever the, he's the called. Front you man. know, yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, but what really kind of set me off with like the um, there's somebody here pulling the strings as a player was when they had the VIPs come in, mm-hmm. and they were like, oh, he's not the whatever, the, whatever the top guy is, he's not going to be here. He has to tend to his own matters, and I was, oh, he's a player. 
he's still there, you know, like, mm-hmm. um, so that's kind of when I confirm like, oh, okay, there's going to be like a big twist at the end where the player is going to be like a real, you know, person or, yeah, you but know, that was after that, the, the, old the marble. Died. Yeah. 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 So it, ironically, that's when I confirmed on my own self. Like, oh yeah. There's, a, there's definitely a string puller out there. Um, I just, you know, I, <laughs> I didn't think it was the old man until the end. And then obviously you see it's the end. And I just want to um, know if you were like shocked. Or like surprised by the surprised. ending. Surprised. Surprised. I would I say surprised. I, I would I wouldn't say shock, but definitely surprised because of who it was. And I was like, uh but then, then you go back and you think like of all those little moments, like, like mm-hmm. okay, you know, like I can to- totally see, mm-hmm. you know, the little well, the dra- first hints. game. The first yeah. game, red light, green light, he's always the first one that stops and yeah. he's like smiling. Yeah, he's like, having a great he's time. Having, he's yeah. having fun. Yeah. And then if you actually watch um, the um, tug of war uh, game, yeah, he's not, he's not, he's shackled, not, to clipped, the rope. He's not yeah. shackled to the rope. Yeah. Uh, like, it, which I was. thought was stupid because like, what if they had lost and he's just standing up like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like then what, you know, yeah. like the whole the jig is up now, you know, yeah. like, um, but no, there was a thing I watched. Um, and there was actually, that- so there was, so in the marble, in the marble one, he was supposed to be, I think the the um because you're supposed to pick a partner, yeah. and I think that everyone was, was thinking the that the girl was. I right? think everyone was. What's that? He was supposed to be like like the girl. They were just, yeah, just brought I her think back. That he was know? supposed to be the one to be the odd one out because nobody wanted to pick a partner with the old man who's like yeah. on his deathbed, and they were going to kill him off. Yeah, that way, and that would have been his escape. And which that would have been his escape you know, from because. At that point, you can't have you have an odd number of people, so you can't yeah. have uh, this that amount of people go into it. So, um, but it ended up being the girl, and then they just took pity on her. Or that I still they, I wish they, they I wish up, they had shot her there, man. I was just like, yeah, it's like, but but you can't you couldn't do that because you still had to have uh, sixteen people for the for the next game. Uh, he did. So you just getting rid of one of the vests. True, I guess. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's good. It was a good show. I liked it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It was weird, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, it, but like, there's a few parts where I was like, huh? <laughs> like <laughs> that Korean culture just didn't quite get to me. Like, one thing that I actually found quite goofy. It was so goofy that it was like funny. If that makes any sense, was when yeah. well, the me... pickpocket was like, "I have to go pee," and she like, <laughs> and the, and then she was hiding, and she and the, and the annoying girl was making a distraction. She was mm-hmm. just screaming like, "It's coming out of me like fire!" Yeah. And I, <laughs> It's just like that's so good. Did you but it's so, so I, had, funny. I, gotta, I gotta ask? Did you watch it? Did you watch it in English or did you watch? Did you watch it dubbed in so, English or did you watch it subbed I in Korean? Started watching it with English in English, you know, with like the subtitles the and dub. everything too. Um, because I just if I watched it in Korean, I would totally be too focused on like the sounds that yeah, they're yeah, making. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I ended up finishing it by with no sound at all. I watched it in bed with no sound, oh, right. just subtitles. Mm-hmm. Um, and that made it so much better because it wasn't <laughs> as goofy because the voice acting was so bad. Did you watch it? You know? Did you watch that part in was it still in English dub or did you did you yes. switch it to Korean? Uh, no, it was all English. It was always English. Well, because I've I've heard if you watch it in Korean with with English subtitles, it's a yeah. lot better, and it it translates better. Yeah, uh, maybe. than it does in the English dub. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just I guess I watched that part with English English, and then mm-hmm. I guess I I switched over to no sound at all, just English subtitles, and um, I guess that actually made it better for me because it wasn't as I couldn't I didn't listen to the goofy English tra- English acting. Um, right. Um, but like again, it's a Korean, you know, production, and you know they, they work with what they have, and right. you know, I don't and trans and stuff gets lost in translation all the time, and you know, even in video games and other movies or TV mm-hmm. shows, it happens all the time. Um, so it, it wasn't enough to like make me stop watching it by any means, but like there were some parts that I was like, that's so goofy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm hoping they do a second season. I, I mean, it's it's become the number one show on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, uh, it, it, it and it was quick. Like, yeah. It came out of nowhere. It was just yep. like a overnight. It was like the number one thing, and it was like trending everywhere. It was on TikTok. Like, I mean, I saw it on TikTok, and I was like, "What is this show?" Yeah, it's me on too. Netflix, and I yeah, was I like, for the "I guess I gotta watch this show." It's about like people. Kill. It's like it's basically like Korean Saw kind of. That's why uh, I watch it. I yeah, was, I was, I was just like, like oh, check it this? out. Like, like you know, 
I, I think I saw it and I put it in my list before I had seen it on TikTok because it just looked interesting. I didn't even know it was in Korean. And mm. <laughs> like I didn't know it was in Korean until I saw TikTok and I was like, why are they all Chinese? Oh, why are they all <laughs> Chinese? <laughs> you know, like I, you know, and I was like, oh, this is not an American, whatever. You know, it doesn't yeah. stop me. I don't care. You can train a Busan is, is Korean as well. Um, and so is hashtag alive, which is also a great movie. If you haven't seen that one, I it's a Korean one. one. Oh, it's a great one. It's on Netflix. Go watch that tonight. Um, that's really good too. But um it was it was good. I liked it. I you know, I, I would like them to make another one. I don't know how they could, considering mm. Now again, you could easily just make they a left it prequel. Open. Make a, yeah, make no, they a left. Prequel. I mean, they left it open for a sequel. Yeah, but the old man is gone. So like, it's you know, still it running to, though. Oh, I know. I'm just saying, like, because the other thing too is that there are like you can you you can you know you figure this out when you're watching it when the, all the VIPs come in. They're saying yeah. that the Korean version has been the best version so far. Oh yeah. This so one, yeah. this happens in other Everywhere. countries. Yeah. It happens yeah. in like in other countries and stuff. Which, so. Which kind of gave me like a hostile vibes, yeah. you know, like, and I was, which kind of, that kind of, I was like, oh, really? You know, can't you just be like, this is one piece of shit people doing somewhere, one, you know, one place. Um, <laughs> but like, it, well, I, again, it wasn't enough to pull me out. I was still interested in the VIP section was weird. Yeah. Like it's, it felt kind of unneeded. Like that, kind, that like that whole scene <laughs> and the whole, like, I get it. They're scumbag people, but like I think that whole scene just because like they're all clearly naked under those robes and i was like why do you why why like what you, you know i just couldn't quite figure it out and I, again maybe it's a korean thing i don't i don't know mm-hmm. um but that, that whole bit felt very out of place cons- compared to the rest of it you know like, like i was fine with the vips being a thing like oh yeah i could totally buy like rich people coming to like make bets on you know i could totally buy that mm-hmm. in the in the world of this in the in the world that this place is built but like why do you gotta make it sexy? <laughs> like, why is yeah, it gotta be that, like a sexy? You know? Then that one guy is like trying to have like sex with the uh, with the with, the, with the cop yeah. guy who's pretending to be a, like a, a waiter. A waiter, yeah, yeah. It was just like, bizarre, uh, you know. Like, I was like, what is this doing? Like, I yeah. get like, you know, they had to make us. They had to give the other cop like a moment where he's caught, but like. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I just, it just felt weird. <laughs> like, almost like they were, almost like they couldn't think of a way. And they were like, let's just make one of the VIPs a fucking like there rapist. Was, there was a lot you know? going on in that show. Like, especially like, like as the time went, like, cause there was the, the whole cop thing. And then there was the doctor who was like, they were like transporting drugs with the dead bodies or something, or like harvesting no, the dead the vibe bodies I got, for the, vibe for the I black got was- market. Yeah, the vibe I got was they were just taking the organs. Yeah, and they, they were, were like organs selling the for organs the, for the for the black market, which was like okay. And but then, then but, but then like that, but then that that thread just stopped one episode. Yeah. just like okay. Well, because they, <laughs> you, you know, know, the front man was just like, no, we can't. Just like you broke a rule, and yeah, you're, they're all you're equal helping and, him. You know. Yeah, you're helping him cheat, and it's all supposed to be equal. You're ruining the integrity of this game that we're playing, where we murder people. I <laughs> like, didn't give a <laughs> shit about the organ thing. No, he was just like, I don't care what you do with your own time. Just make it fair for everyone else. Don't yeah. give anyone an unfair advantage. And you're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, so, so, so we're cool with the organ. So thing? we're cool <laughs> with the organ thing, then I guess. <laughs> yeah, and there's, um, there's a lot. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Like, and then, like, there's that one bit with like the gangster where like he was like attacked by like Puerto Rican like gangbangers. <laughs> I was like, oh, when he jumped off the bridge. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I think they were Puerto Rican. Like they were definitely <laughs> like know. they were definitely like Hispanic. I think of some of some Latino, you know, background. Yeah. And I'm sitting here going like, I mean, there's crimes in the gets all over the world, but I'm like, oh, Filipino. I'm with the Filipino. I don't know, but I'm like, you're Korean. What? <laughs> how are you getting money from the? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like China's right over there, man. Like, just, yeah. <laughs> like uh, one one thing. Um, I I I I I didn't like was the way the North Korean girl died um like it made the it made the character that killed her like it's the ultimate scumbag at that point like we all that but like okay fuck this guy um yeah but do, like don't you know saw Byuk, the only man in that village who's ever been to the university yeah yeah for business oh yes yeah been, been to you yeah do yes, you know how many so times smart we heard that that, that that he had gone to the university for business for business yeah yeah 
Oh yes, yeah, he's he's the pride and joy of, yeah. of our town, of our village. And he, he ended up being a for business. scumbag. Like anyway, I just like with the whole like I just didn't. <laughs> Again, it was that moment was very similar to like that weird VIP moment where like all the glass shattered, mm-hmm. um, and I was like, "How are you doing that?" Like with the glass, like it's all shattering and it's all like going everywhere, you know. And I'm not a physicist; I'm not like a, a glass shatter expert. But like typically, glass when you break it goes in one direction, you know. I think there the was direction. explosives in the bridge. Direction, yeah, but then the bridge itself would have. It was just the glass that was bursting. It wasn't like the bridge oh. was like, you know. So again, and here I am like in bed trying to figure out the physics of a TV show, you know, but like <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, because that's literally what they teach you like when you're in, invest- you know, and when, when we go to like our, in the Navy, we go to like our investigator school, like if mm-hmm. it's broken glass, typically the glass, the glass will always break in the direction of the impact. So, you know, if the glass is going up, <laughs> the, 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 it shouldn't the be shot. Have, it shouldn't people. be going everywhere. Right. <laughs> you know, and again, like shit happens, like shit bounces into each other. And but like there was glass going fucking everywhere. <laughs> and the guards were just sailing like this. Yeah, the, uh, they weren't even affected. They were yeah, just they like, were just sitting there like mm, whatever. You know, I'm just yeah. like, hang on a minute. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, the, and, the, and the three players are like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. like, and the, and, and the guards and one of them got there. stabbed. Yeah. And the yeah. girl got like impaled. Like, yeah. But like with a what huge I just, piece. Yeah, what I just found odd is like that portion because like you're saying we're, we're gonna make it equal for everybody, but then you do that and you run the risk. Of, like, what if all three of them had like their fucking like a order rip rip you know cut by the glass? Oh well, shit! No, we don't have a winner. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know, I, I guess there was moments where I was kind of like eh, you just kind of going for the artistic flair here, and I get it. You know, it's it's a TV show, and you know, but like. I don't know. It, it was really good. I, I I liked it a lot. And I do hope they make another one. I'll watch it. But um, I just I, I they they spent so much time giving this one Korean girl this backstory, and I thought mm-hmm. maybe it'd be him against her at the end because they both have something like they're fighting for, like very personally, like, especially yeah. her, like you know, to rescue her family from like North Korea, which like is a very real thing for a lot of fucking people, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and then they kind of just stabbed her in the gut with a piece of glass and then Slitter a steak knife out. you know like and that was it that was the end of North Korean yep. chick like who, who had somebody sacrifice themselves for her which was a yep. nice moment I thought that was a great scene you know like um so I, I it felt almost like towards the end they were just like hey, we gotta figure out how to get rid of these people so but like the thing <laughs> of it is is like I'm watching this show and I'm like I'm like four episodes in and I'm like I like all of these people like are they gonna kill all of these people oh yeah oh yeah and it's just yeah, like it's, it's and then, hashtag justice for ali and then know, ali like, goes down and you're just like what the fuck yeah yeah and then like See, i personally think that having if ali had survived that moment and they killed the university of business guy um i would have liked that better if yeah. even for the story arc because now like whatever his name is jing jing yao whatever the the leads character you know he's got like in his opinion, his eyes, his best friend is still a good human being. And here's Ali, who is responsible mm-hmm. for your best friend dying. And Ali seemed like a guy who was like, who would have felt like immense guilt for that. Yeah. Um, and I would have liked to have seen Ali, the North Korean chick, and then the other guy. I, I can't forget his. I, yeah, I forgot. Again, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name. I'll end up saying the curse word or something. But like, um, Eon or something like that. Like, I would have loved to have seen them in the final three. Yeah. You know, like, or have, they needed, or have they needed a villain. They needed a villain oh, I know they needed a villain, three. but like, but like, but then the whole, really, the whole point of the whole overarching show is that the old guy is really the villain here. Yeah, you know, like, and that I feel like that would have made it that that little mm-hmm. reveal at the end there better because then Jing Yao, whatever his name is, would have had to have essentially killed two friends that he made. Who, in reality, you would never forget those people. Mm-hmm. You know, like they'd be they'd be better friends than School of Business Boy because you killed them, <laughs> and you want you know a bunch of other stuff, but. Uh, Anyway, it's a good show. I, I liked it, and I'm picking it apart here. Like, like I hated it. I liked it a lot. I just yeah. That's that's how you know I liked it because I'm not just talking shit. But, um, I hope they make a two or a Squid Game second season, whatever they would call it. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish they had closed off the arc with him and his kid, though. They kind of. I don't remember what they she went to. She went to the United States with her stepfather and her mother. Yeah, but like the whole point of him going to get the money was because like he wanted to 
be like there for her and like be mm-hmm. like you know so like he got all this money which i get it like he wasn't happy how he got it um but it just felt kind of weird that he like stayed in Korea and like didn't go to the United States with his kids or like I mean, didn't like give them you, money to stay, you know. If like, you beat out four hundred and sixty four other people uh, by watching them all get murdered, uh, would you like feel good about yourself? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, like, the whole point of him doing that was to like be there for his daughter, and it kind of just left that thread just hanging like oh yeah she's no American i know now. but like i i you look know. at it the way of like um he can, like he's he can never really face his daughter because of what he had to go through i see i felt i thought for a minute maybe he was just going to give her the money just like hey like here's an I account like how number they you know i like i like how they with the red hair <laughs> and him just in the phone yelling <laughs> yeah i was like that's true i was like why the hell did he change his hair that was weird yeah, he had the money and then, yeah, and then he sees the guy who he was, you know, playing the the card game with. Which there's yeah. a theory uh, based off of which card you choose. Did you see that one? Because uh, it no. was a red card and a blue card. No, that that game is if, actually very very popular in Korea. Like they have like professionals yeah. play it. And um, if you choose the blue card, yeah, and you get and you are accepted to Squid Game, you wake up as a player because you have the the green tracksuit. If yeah. you pick the red or the pink card, then you go in as, as a guard. Oh, as a yeah. worker. Yeah, but like that is something I want more backstory on. Is like like how, how, how did they does get one these people to get there? Like yeah. going on indeed.com being like, oh, I'm gonna be a square, you know? Yeah. Like but I I just <laughs> I wanna like, be a triangle. <laughs> like I wanna know, like, how does one become a square? Do you have to do two years as a circle first, and then you get to be a square? And then what happened? Like, how did the no? You you have to be a triangle to be a square. The triangles are guards, right? The square was like the manager. I just all I know is the hierarchy for the 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 the, for the The PlayStation buttons are uh, circles were like the were like workers, like the worker bees. Yeah. And then you had the triangles who oversaw like the, the worker bees. Yeah, they were the guards. And then yeah. the 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 squares were supervisors. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I want to know like how how does one become a square? Do you how much degree? management <laughs> experience do I need to become a square? Square. I need answers. I need them now. Like <laughs> yeah. I just like because everything was so like tightly ran, and I was like, is there a is there an orientation for this? Is there HR? <laughs> Who do I call like with an HR problem? Who like, do I call if someone makes a homophobic remark to me? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I need to I, know. I need to like, know these answers. <laughs> like, like, and that's what I'd like to see fleshed out in like <laughs> It's, instead instead of having a co- the, instead of having the a office cop, but it's squid game like yeah <laughs> like i just want like it's, it's just instead of having version. instead of having like why not like have have like the like the game be yeah. like you know the, what the main story and then have the second story story instead of like the cop one have it be like maybe like a unsure of himself worker you know like mm. how do they get to that situation <laughs> yeah. you know like and are they being paid like what's yeah. the because like if you're selling organs like i can't imagine you're getting paid that much but <laughs> But like you're getting paid enough, yeah, but- you're just gonna you're just gonna shoot somebody in the fucking forehead for breaking a cookie, you know? Like I just need to know. I I, I have more questions, and I just I want to know how does one become a square, <laughs> or even a triangle for that, or a circle? Yeah, like because like they, they knew what they had these guys number they had cameras in their cells mm-hmm. you know like they had everything so they knew who they were and they had the rule you can't take your helmet you can't take your mask off in front of anybody you know like. And that would, I presume, to even each other. Mm-hmm. You couldn't know who each other were. So I'm like, I need to know. Like, how does one become? I mean, it's like any you know movie henchman. Like, how how do you get that job? How did you yeah. end up here to I be shot to... by Rambo? I want to know how you got here. I wanted to know like, how that cop knew what Morse code was. I'm sure it's Korea. They probably taught him. Don't teach, you gotta remember the American education system is uh yeah it's all right like, <laughs> compared he, just, to other he heard tapping and he was like that's morse code like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he I automatically been, I been knew like, i would have been like shut up yeah <laughs> i'm trying to sleep <laughs> like, like shut the fuck up <laughs> like as right. the america the americans in the group just don't understand anything <laughs> yeah. like what the hell is a kilometer just like screaming <laughs> refusing to use wow. the metric system Where's, in there. Yeah. 
I can't use the metric system. <laughs> uh, all right, anyway. let's get let's get to picks so we can wrap this up. Um, we have we can both probably agree that we were both picking Indianapolis on Thursday night. Um, yeah, I would have picked Indy anyway. Yeah, so we didn't we didn't text each other Thursday night. So, but I would have picked Indianapolis too because they were playing the Jets. There's no way I'm picking the Jets anytime this year. Oh, so no, not not unless they got a buy, and even then. Yeah, COVID st- COVID's <laughs> yeah, still a thing. COVID, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, starting with the one o'clock games, we've got Atlanta at New Orleans. Um, I got Saints. I'm gonna pick Atlanta again. Pick Saints. Uh, did they win last week? Yeah, they beat Tampa. No, Atlanta. No, they lost yeah, they beat, Carolina. No, Atlanta beat Carolina. No, Carolina no, they lost. Atlanta, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, we both picked Atlanta. No, I'm, I'm gonna the pick Saints, Atlanta because I <laughs> I I have a good feeling about it. I'm just going to pick the Saints. Um, Denver is at Dallas. I'm going to go with Dallas. Dallas. New England's at Carolina. I'm going to go with New England. New England. Minnesota's at Baltimore. 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 Cleveland's at Cincinnati. Bengals. Cincinnati. Buffalo's at Jacksonville. Please. Buffalo. Next. Next. Houston's (laughs) at Miami. Uh, Miami. Ooh, I'm picking Miami. Uh, Las Vegas is at New York Giants. Giants. Not happy about it, but I'm going for the Giants here. Right. I'm going to pick Las Vegas. I'm only picking the Giants because the time zone difference, Henry Ruggs and John Gruden. <laughs> I mean, they didn't so, let John Gruden affect him last and week. The Gi- and the Giants have had two pretty are, good defensive Are you locking that in? Yeah, I'm not happy about it. All right, because I Giants. just want to let you know the Raiders are coming off a bye, too. So I don't yeah, think I the time difference is going to matter too much. I'm going to Giants. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers against visiting Philadelphia. Chargers. Chargers. Green Bay is at Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah, we already discussed we're picking. I would have picked City. Green Bay if uh, they had, you know, a I switched my pick to Kansas City after, yeah. you know, Rodgers went out. Uh, Arizona is at San Francisco. Zona. Zona. Yeah. Tennessee's at the Rams. Rams, which we'll get to the Rams next week, probably. Yeah. Chicago is at Pittsburgh. 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 So we differ on two. So we got to pick Monday night game uh, total. <laughs> Who's playing? Chicago at Pittsburgh. Um, I picked first last week, so it's your turn. I thought I picked first last week. No, I did. I picked 36. Oh, 41. 41. Um, I'll stick with 36 again. Okay. No. All right. Hang on. Pittsburgh and who? Chicago. Thirty-three, <laughs> a weird number. Thirty-three. I just have a feeling that Pittsburgh needs a good win, like a good, strong, thirty-one to ten win, forty-one points. <laughs> what happened to me? Uh, all right, so that's uh, picks are in for week nine, and like I said, next week we'll go over halfway through <sighs> the season. Um. Oh. You can still donate to uh, Jimmy Lucars's um, GoFundMe for his project, Police 3, uh, if you'd like to do that. I, uh, I'm going to leave the description and the um, uh, the link in uh, the comments, or not the comments, in the description for both the YouTube and the Spotify, iTunes um, thing. So you can click on the link and follow it there. Um, do you have any final thoughts? No, don't drink and drive. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, go take a shower. Um, the each girlfriend week, too. <laughs> each week you can listen to <laughs> sports and nonsense on Spotify, iTunes, Podcasts, or Castbox FM, and you can watch the sports and nonsense uh, video podcasts on Name Pending Productions YouTube channel. Um, so that'll do it for this week in the sports and nonsense world. We got a little nonsense in this week. Look at us go <sighs> a little there. Um, but yeah. Oh, before we go, I I got Vanguard. Call of Duty. Uh, I'll probably be picking it up tomorrow. I got campaigns good. Multiplayer sucks. Wait for Battlefield. I've heard the multiplayer sucks. Yeah, wait for Battlefield. Uh, do I want to pick it up at that point then? No. Okay. No. Because <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, like I only want to play Warzone, but I, Warzone's free. Yeah, no, don't don't buy it until it's like forty bucks. Then play for the kick. campaign's good, uh, but multiplayer sucks. So I'll get it when it's pre-owned and then return it after seven days. 
Yeah, ideally, you know. I just had nothing else to play, so it was either that I, or I've stare heard, at my screen. I've heard Guardians of the Galaxy is amazing. If you yeah, I'm, wait, that I'm waiting on that to go on sale. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I'm that's my next one I want to pick up. Yeah, once it so, goes on sale, I grab it. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, we will talk to you all next week. Bye.